Jan. Hi, it's Janet here from Green Urban Living. And this afternoon I'm going to show you how to requeen a hive. Now this hive has lost its queen, so uh, there's plenty of brood and there's workers in there, but we need to get another queen in here so that it can survive through the winter. So what I've done is I've bought two queen cells, and these are little plastic, um, sort of like a thimble, and it has a queen cell in there that's due to hatch probably tomorrow or the next day. And what I've done is I've wrapped masking tape around each cell, and what that does is it just protects the queen cell from any of the workers in the hive biting at the cell trying to rip it down. Um, and then what I've done is I've just got some very fine uh, wire and I've wrapped it around the top of each queen cell. And basically that just gives me something to, to anchor the cells into the brood um, and to support them. So what I'm going to do now is open up the hive and in the middle of the hive where most of the brood is, I'm going to put these two queen cells in. You want them so that they're between two frames so that the cells keep nice and warm. And then the idea is that tomorrow or the next day the queen, new queens will hatch, they'll fly out of the hive, they'll mate with drones up in the sky and then hopefully they'll come back down to this hive and they'll start laying eggs and the hive can get on with um, getting its population of workers up again. So what I'm going to do is just move the follower board out and then move um, some of these empty top bars off until I get to the comb. Basically the comb is empty, so you know that there's no laying queen there. Um, and the bees, really because they don't have a queen to tell them what to do, are just sort of mulling around, not doing much at all. So that's why we need to get a queen back in here. So this is about the middle of the hive. So what I'm going to do now is suspend the queen cells in here on either side. So one can go down here and the other one can go down there and then I just, what I do is I just twist it off like this so that this queen cells are suspended about um, five centimetres from the top of the top bar. Make sure that the cell is pointing down and then it's just a matter of returning the top bars back into position and hoping that nature will do its course and we'll have a new queen very soon. So I'll come back in about two weeks, check that, um, that the queen cells have opened at the bottom so I know that a queen has hatched and, and um, gone out of the queen cell and I'll take these away and check for new larvae and new grubs. There you have it, that's how to requeen a queenless hive.